honorable folks out there who want to win fair and square. Through no fault of their own or the Colorado players or coaches, that was not the case Saturday when Colorado beat Missouri 33-31 in a game featuring one of the most mind-boggling breakdowns in officiating we have seen in years. And heads have rolled. Seven Big 8 officials have been suspended indefinitely for their part in the act. Missouri leading and defending its goal, Colorado grounds the ball on first and goal, leaving 28 seconds to play. But watch the down indicator, second down, and the run up the middle. No score. Keep an eye on that indicator over there. It'll be in the middle of your uh, screen. It does not change. The run is stuck. Five seconds left. So now it ought to be fourth down, right? Well, the indicator is still inaccurate. Colorado gets the ball, snaps it, and throws it into the ground again. That's four, and that's all you get in college football. And then they give him another shot. Charlie Johnson squirms in, and even that was too close for comfort. Colorado celebrates the victory. Missouri's people aren't uh, all that up in arms at the moment because they aren't really sure what exactly happened out there either. Safety came up and stepped right up here and, and stuck the guy wrapping and stripping. And uh, I saw the ball come out of him and I was over. I saw the touchdown signal. But, and I sure hope I didn't see that right. I wanted nothing more than for us to uh, to prevail and, and, and win, especially after a crazy play like that. Um, but, you know, I just, uh, I started crying and <laughs> walking to the locker room because I just, it was too much to handle. Right there, uh my hand. I could have prevented it some kind of way, and I think it's still my mistake. I see it in my mind every night before I go to bed. <laughs> so it still comes up. I try to forget it. Seeing all your, your fantasies and dreams before you and, and then having taken from your clutches, thrown them around, stomped on. Real, real pain.
exactly rush the play, did he? No, he didn't. He showed for his end. Once again, from in his own number. Here comes the place. Underneath, Gage has it. Runs into his own net. He takes it balance, believe it or not. Gage running through all tackles. And pulls it. Good play, Bank. And Smith follows his back. He's got the first down. He's down to 30. And James in motion. Plenty of action to the backfield. Inside the 20. There goes Gage. Could he take an interchange? It is Brad Smith hugging onto the football. What does that hit the backfield? Joel was the exact same play.
Instead, they trap, kick out, boom. See you later. A perfect call. They run a little the quarterback draw, trap action, watch the line, and pull Paul, and boom, gets the block. And there goes Smith, says, see you later. I mean, you couldn't have had a more perfect call. I'm wondering if Smith may have audibleized at the line of scrimmage.